This natural gas rebate is a fake program. It is a deliberate misrepresentation pushed forward by a premier trying to save his political career by pretending to care about families. The mounting costs and the mounting costs those families are facing. I'm going to turn now to one of the many bills we've been provided by Albertans to prove this. So, this. Uh, here's Selena's actual utility bill from January. Her family is paying $430. But the UCP program isn't even activated yet, so they get no rebate. Let's say that this Alberta household is facing the same bill a year from now, when the program has started. Even this punishing $430 bill isn't large enough to be eligible for the UCP's program. So Selena and her family still get no rebate. In fact, even if the bill went up even further, all the way to $480, more than double her usual average bill, it would still not be eligible. Selena and her family still get no rebate. In order for Albertan for an Albertan to actually get a rebate, natural gas prices would have to reach a level that's almost 80% higher than the prices were this January. This isn't about two sides of an argument. Facts are facts. And the fact is that this natural gas rebate program isn't designed to help actual families. For many Albertans, including myself, it feels like heating your home, buying food, and using electricity is becoming a luxury that is becoming almost unaffordable. I know people who have had to tell their kids they can't afford to buy the groceries they want because they have to make bill payments. Before this, I never heard of anyone facing such dire circumstances. I'm here with Selena today on behalf of Alberta families to demand that the UCP step up follow through on their promise to provide real relief for families. They can do this in several ways. They can restore the rate cap we put in place. They could apply a temporary reverse rate rider. They could implement rebates on both electricity and natural gas. Rebates that are actually real. All of this could involve income testing or apply only to families below average energy consumption to avoid creating perverse incentives. My message to the Premier is this. No more smoke and mirrors. No more fake utility rebates. Do something to help Alberta mothers like Selena.